Sir Winston Churchill once stated some people's idea of free speech is being able to say whatever they wanted but they could not allow others to say anything for that would be seen as an outrage and I agree with Sir Winston Churchill with that because that is actually an outrage in itself to being able to say what you want but if anybody have us uh, facts to prove otherwise to prove your statement wrong or prove that there are problems with your statement and you feel that they should not have the right to speak anything that is an injustice that should not should not be handled lightly um, the reason I'm making this video is very simple <clears throat> uh, last Monday not this past Monday, uh, last Monday, October 5th, 2015. Uh, a pair of feminists, or extremist feminists, named uh, Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn, um, went before the UN and basically asked and pleaded that Social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube should instill um, policies or, or rules that basically say if you say anything such as, you know, oh, you suck or you stink, your account should be terminated in, on these sites. And, um,. In case Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn don't understand, I mean, I under, you know, I may be, un, I may not be under the belief that you know Zoe Quinn and Anita Sarkeesian, Sarkeesian does do not live in America. You know, I mean, if they are, if they do live in America, then they have to understand what they are doing is basically unconstitutional. What what that means is, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. The First Amendment allows us to say, think, act, and express ourselves in any way we wish to a certain degree. But uh, Anita Sarkeesian said that, oh, well, if you say I suck, then you don't deserve to have your Facebook account or your YouTube account, which is complete crap. Because that's basically like saying, you know, I can say whatever I want, but if you challenge me, then you're just a piece of crap. Which I, for one, do not agree with. Um, it, it's, it's actually harmful to the American way to do that. I mean, I understand, you know, she does not want to be threatened. I mean, yeah, nobody deserves to be threatened for their opinion. That's that's a given. But to to see that you don't like what someone says, so you want to shut them up. There's nothing American about that. Oh, I don't like what you said about me. You need to silence your mouth. You don't have a right to speak. Really? I mean, I understand these two are try are feminists, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cover feminists in another video, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I understand they have their beliefs, which is understandable. It's it's you know, American way. Have your own beliefs and try to live up to them. Okay, but to I mean, think about it like this: Anita Sarkeesian is mostly getting these threats because you know, I mean. She's getting these threats because she says she actually has a, 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 a channel here on YouTube saying that there are tropes against women. When in reality, they're not, if you stop and think about them, if there are tropes, they're probably tropes that have already been implanted without even being known. 
or they're tropes that you know were just there and never even noticed or the or or consider consider if you may uh, option three you know option C you know option C uh, these tropes really don't exist I mean I mean that's that in itself C must be an extremist view right um because she she claims like think about it like this she did a vid she actually did a um video saying that Super Mario the Super Mario series was in fact misogynistic which I for one disagree with I mean yeah I mean yeah Princess Peach you know she's she was in the role of damsel in the stress okay but it's not like she put herself there um I mean and think about it yes she has power it's actually been proven Princess Peach has power but I mean it's not the kind of power where you can basically say oh um, I got a I got a fire breathing monster with the strength to basically, you know, if he actually wanted to destroy my castle and harm harm all the citizens of my kingdom without even trying. And yet all I can do is use my power, my magical power to bring forth happiness and uh peace, but not, you know, but my magic can't be used to fight this beast that's threatening me. That's basically the power Princess Peach has. Why? I don't know. It's not, uh, you know, wasn't my decision. wasn't my decision for her to have that. I had nothing to do with it. But Aeneas Sarkeesian is trying to have, I guess you could say, people paint her as a victim when she really does not deserve to be. Because here's the thing. If you go to her videos, there are little. There's no rating com. There's no rating systems. You can't comment on anything. Why? Because your opinion does not matter to her. And in, and in my belief, that is unconstitutional. That is un-American. And she needs to wake up. There are no such things as tropes. If there are, they're probably unintentional. Or probably part of the story in which the tropes snuck in. Now, Anita Sarkeesian also claims to be a victim of Gamergate. Um, I don't know much about Gamergate. I've seen videos about it. I myself have never looked into it. I will, though, following this video. And, um, I, like I said, I'll look into that. And Zoe Quinn also happens to be a victim of Gamergate. Now, Zoe Quinn, I, um, have looked a little into that through another, vi through another video. Um, I will put, I will post the, um, the link to it, or, um, in the description. If you can't find it in the description, uh, Go look for uh, the amazing atheist. Like his, I like his uh, videos; they make you think if you really stop and think about it. The video is entitled um, "What Is Gamer?" I think it's "What Is Gamergate?" with uh, the Investigamer, and in it, he actually he actually reveals there's a timeline in which Zoe Quinn was known to be. I guess you could say, having a tryst with a married man who happened to be a gaming journalist. Now, from that, she's mad. She's mad and upset because apparently, her credentials as an independent, like a uh, indie game developer, have come under fire because nobody really believes she can actually make good games anymore. Like, 
she she I guess you could say she followed the path of a uh, Phil Fish. Phil Fish, in case you're wondering, made a uh, Fez, and many people believe that he lucked into that, and he's a one-trick pony. And so far, I see that Zoe Quinn is in the same boat of that. Uh, because one, I, I myself have never played the Depression Quest. I've seen videos. You know, it it's a it's a good game. I'll give it. I'll give it. Its, I'll give it. It's just do. It's a good game. But the thing is, this she slept with. Apparently, from what the timeline is saying, she slept with the gaming journalist to get that positive review, which I believe should not have happened. It shouldn't have. And uh, like I said, both these women claim to be victims of Gamergate. Um, you know, you know, maybe they are, maybe they're not, but, but like I said, it's, what they're trying to ask for really could not happen in America, because, one, that's censorship. That's basically saying, I can say whatever I want, but if you have facts, or you have, um, you have evidence that proves me wrong, you can't say anything. You can't even think about saying anything that proves me wrong. Even though you have, basically, papers papers upon papers upon papers of evidence. You have ev uh, examples upon examples upon examples that prove me wrong. You can't say anything. Not, not to mention that, there are other people with similar mindset to that basically saying what I say is right and if you say anything you're part of the problem I'm glad I'm not and I'm, I guess I could say this I'm glad I'm not part of the extremists well of that thinking but I mean when's it gonna stop? What, uh, I mean, I, I personally think Anita Sarkeesian needs... Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn need to think thoroughly about what they say, about what they do. Because here's the thing. And I mean, here's the key point that Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn don't understand. They're public figures. Public figure. That means, basically, you're in the public eye. You're basically somebody the public will look at and say, oh, or, uh, you know, they're doing something good. Or, they're doing something bad. It's perception, how we see things. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. Everyone is entitled to re rebuke or uh, uh, challenge that opinion. Everyone is allowed to say what they what they believe, what they feel, what they think. If you're part of the if you're part of the movement that feels I should say whatever I want, but you're not allowed to say anything, you're un-American. You're un-American, and you're part of the problem in this country. But that's my point of view. Like I said, um, I'll point, I'll put out um, descriptions in the uh, links to the descriptions to uh, the investigame, the investigamer video on uh, the Amazing Atheist's uh, channel. Like I said, he's he, uh, the Amazing Atheist is actually somebody who, when you watch his videos, you actually really stop and think about what is really in the video, and it makes you stop and think about what he's talking about. Um, I just, I just think that this really needs to stop. Like that, this whole era of things where, you know, I should be able to say whatever I want. I'm right no matter what, and 
you know, that's it. It needs to stop. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. There's always two sides to every story. And if you don't believe, and if you don't believe everybody's entitled to their opinion or allowed to voice their opinion, or you know, you know, you feel, oh, I'm I'm grateful for I'm good for saying this. Anyone who attacks me is a is a jerk. Is a is a threat. Wake up, all right. I'll like I said, uh, I'll cover more on this later when I compose my thoughts and and uh, how I feel about it. Like I said, I'll post links in the uh, description below and to uh, the Amazing Atheist's video. This is Stacy Gardner with my own two words. Later.